Okay, so it's winter time. I just got back from Colorado. My skin is so dry. It's crazy, okay? I have really oily skin. Um, so typically speaking, I love a CC cream, a BB cream, um, a stay matte foundation. Um, I like the VFX Pro because it can kind of be used for all skin types. Um, the CC cream and BB cream I do love because it gives me some moisture and then I put some powder on over it. But right now I'm really dry. Like, my skin is like flaky and weird. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to switch up my skincare routine. That's one of the things that you can really do. Okay, if your skin is super, super dry, one, you need to drink way more water because your body needs that hydration. Um, two, you need this mineral water spray. It's a refreshing spray. I spray it on before I do any of my um, makeup in the morning, before I do my moisturizer, my um, primer, all that stuff, I do this. You'll see me spray it on blending buds too, just to get it wet to put my foundation on. But I love this as just a, my face feels like it just got a drink of water. It's awesome. You're gonna have to use some kind of skincare. If you're super dry on the normal, I would suggest the aloe line, the calendula line, either one of those are amazing. The pure rose line is really great. I am currently using the Lumi Radiance because I want my skin brighter, glowing. I want to dim dis diminish and um, blend in all of this discoloration, like all that kind of stuff, right? So this morning I felt like I needed a different foundation and I kind of wondered, maybe you do as well, right? So you saw me post last weekend because it was on sale. It's not that expensive though regularly. So I don't feel bad if you missed the sale on the um, serum foundation. It's completely amazing. It hydrates your skin in this awesome, awesome way. I'm not certain of this color, so I'm gonna try a little bit. I probably should have tried it before the live but I didn't. I had to go down a shade in my CC cream um, because it was just getting too dark. I'm losing all of that summer awesome tan. It's going away. I have a self tanner. I bought a self tanner, but yeah, no. So let's just try it a little bit. I dropped everything out of the dropper, shook it up a little bit, put it back in the dropper, and now let's just see if this color will work. I do like the blending bud, but you can use a brush if you want. Um, really whatever you want. Um, I do feel like this is a fuller coverage. Um, I think I get maybe, let me show you. I think I get a little bit fuller coverage with the brush. Okay. Let me see. Let me find my brush here. Okay. So let's see how it didn't cover really all of that. I think that I do better with the brush. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. Much better coverage with the brush. Um, I just poke my eye to my nose. Hear my dog barking? I think my sister's here to drop some stuff off. Okay. Let's just do half of this so I can show it to you. And hopefully I don't get too much. So it takes very little. I'm just barely pushing anything out of that dropper. So this foundation is super lightweight. The coverage clearly is awesome, right? I don't want to get too close to my makeup. The nose rings are a little bit of a challenge, but you see how it still looks real natural. It doesn't look really cakey. It doesn't look um, weird or crazy. I think, the found, I think the color is okay. So I would call this probably about a medium coverage. If you want to spot treat with a brush, you can do that, and then it will get you a little bit more fuller coverage. But you see how it gives you that kind of that um, dewy glow? If you want to add powder, you can, but if you're really dry, you're going to want to stay away from powder, okay? Um, if you really just love a powder, do the, um, BB powder because it has all the yummy moisturizing effects of a BB cream in a powder. So yeah, I like this one better with a brush. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Yeah, um, I might be able to go down a shade. I don't know. But it's awesome. It's great. Um, and really it's. I need a little bit more up there. See it? Um, I think it's $22, $24. I still think it's really good for a great foundation, especially as hydrating as it is. And it looks amazing on your skin. I'm still going to do a little under eye concealer and my contouring and all of that stuff. But it looks really natural and really pretty, right? 